guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you're well and i hope that december is being super good for you and that you're planning for 2021 so first things first there's a bit of noise happening around my place because they are fixing some stuff so please forgive that if you do hear anything now getting into the video i am actually enjoying doing these sit down videos with you guys where i just like unpack my thoughts and ideas and we actually get to kind of chat about it um, because they are so fruitful for me and I think I haven't done one of these in such a long time. So today I just want us to talk a little bit about the other side of fear. I know that 2020 has been a mess um, and you guys know we like to keep it super positive on this channel but I think it's really great that we admit that 2020 has been up and down for a number of people myself included. You know people have lost jobs. I think just around the world 2020 has been disruptive um, in so many ways and at the same time it's brought a lot of great things it's, it's transitioned quite a lot of things for a lot of people and one of the biggest things I'm realizing that's happening with a number of people is that we are having a lot of anxiety for 2021 quite the contrary actually because you'd imagine us being so excited and like oh 2020 must just be over but I'm just realizing that 2020 is just going to be over and 2021 is going to be there and chances are not much is actually going to change in our lives but probably our perspective or just the feeling of newness but I've been talking to a number of people that are feeling quite fearful about 2021 and I think most important just fe feeling quite fearful in general about life because of so much uncertainty that this year brought I think it's just opened our eyes to the fact that maybe sometimes we don't have full control over the things that happen around us you know and over um, just external stuff and and I just wanted to talk to that person if you are watching this video and you are um, currently just going through a lot of anxiety a lot of fear with like next year just not knowing where your life is right now I'm um, struggling with clarity struggling with just making decisions in your life this video is for you and I'm hoping that it is going to encourage you so much so let's get into it now one of the things that I've actually picked up every time I've been so fearful about stuff, one of the biggest things that I think God has really instilled in my heart was, what if it does not happen? What if what you fear the most does not happen? So you look at right now, people have all sorts of fears. Like people fear, what if you know there's a second wave? What if that happens? And what if people lose their jobs? What if the country closes down? What if we move to level five lockdown? Da, 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 da. There's just like, so many things that we could be thinking about that we could actually... It's, it's, it's like we are premeditating our own failure. It's like we're premeditating our own um, time of grief or just like... I can't even explain it but it's just a moment of feeling like things might not go like how we planned because we had so much planned for 2020 and then just stuff happened right and I've been listening to Stephen Furtick and he's been talking a lot about or recently a lot about how this year has been a year of favor how this year has been you know a year of just um birthing a newness and that is true to an extent but you know that came with a lot of pain and it's important that we acknowledge that for some people it did come with a lot of uncertainty it did come with a lot of pain a lot of loss and just like a lot of things that have happened um around the world so i want us to open up the other side of fear and this is something that's been ringing out in my mind a lot and that i literally filmed this video to share with you every single time you have a thought of fear and this is literally it every single time you have a thought that is fearful you have a thought that tells you that maybe things might not work out or you don't know if it, what, what, or just whatever the case is in your mind that you're thinking about negatively here's what i want you to do i want you to look at the other side of fear i want you to start asking yourself what if it works out i want you to start asking yourself what if it actually happens for you like i want you to ask yourself what if you actually win what if you actually get that job that you've been wanting to get? What if that relationship works out, right? What if that breakup was for the best? What if on the other side of fear is all the most amazing things you've been looking for? What if on the other side of fear is all those great things, the success and all those things that you've been dreaming to have are in your life? And that's how I just want us to channel our mind because I think this is going to help us a lot plan for 2021. As we plan for the coming year, as we do our vision boards, our goal list, whatever it is that we're doing it is important that we actually sit and kind of figure out in our minds that wait a minute yes because I know for me sometimes when I plan stuff and they seem too big for me or I'm worried about COVID or whatever the case is there could be a bit of like fear in my heart um 
of just feeling like what if I plan all of this and then it doesn't happen like I mean look at 2020 we had planned so much and it didn't happen but the important thing you need to remember is even if things did not happen in 2020 there are a few things that happened for you even if you did not achieve what you wanted to achieve and it's like uh, extensiveness you did something in 2020 and that is something to acknowledge and that is something to be grateful for so I just want you to think about that the other side of fear just think about that more and more when you're planning and every time you feel like you're getting anxious every time you you start feeling like things might be going sideways or it's just it or it might not even be looking like it's going to be possible because of all these vectors that we don't have control over I want you to sit there and ask yourself what if it actually does work out and when you then ask yourself that focus on that thought focus on the thought of it working out focus on thought of the possibility of you being successful the possibility of you buying that car changing that lives increasing those numbers getting that new job getting that relationship or it just whatever it is you're or you are looking forward to focus on it possibly working out and that mindset will make you wake up every single morning and plan every single day of your life with just so much eagerness and with so much hope because when you plan with hope and when you act with hope you act in so much positivity and you actually act expecting it which is basically the law of attraction then you start attracting those things that you want in your life so um, I hope that this video really encouraged you somehow it was really kind of an unplanned I like, just thought I should do with you guys um, as part of vlogmas I've just been enjoying the sit down whenever I have like something in my mind that I want to share with you guys I'm like ah let me grab the camera and sit down so we can actually chat um, so yeah I really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos if you guys have any other like topics thoughts ideas that you guys would like me to actually unpack for vlogmas also particularly let me know on the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to and um, yeah man thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it if it spoke to you give me a thumbs up um, and if you've just been struggling as well just to to get over this year and to just move forward let me know I, I, I'm really keen on referring you guys to a lot of people that would be able to kind of help you do all that deep work within you um, and just some resources as well that might be super helpful for you in terms of moving forward so thank you again so much for watching this video um, please be subscribed to the channel wait no what am I saying um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the notification bell if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys on my next video Mwah. bye